What's up my single chads and toxic gamers? Uh, stop scratching your ball side guys, it's not the time because today we got top Bruh. 25 best upcoming games that are coming out this year. Coming in at our number 25 spot, we got Towers of Agashba, okay, I know what Bruh. I named for a crazy name, right? We're gonna get right into the list here, guys. Comment your top 3 games from the list and let's see if some of these games can compete with Call of Duty. Some of the if they can compete with GTA 6, probably not. Let's be real. Uh, there's gonna be no game that can compete with GTA 6 TBH. But let's see if we can find one game, one game that can be decent, uh, a decent enough or alternative of Call of Duty and some of your beloved franchise. Let's see what we got coming up, right? And uh, like the video and let's check it out. Man. So this is the first one. Imagination soar as you mold your island into manifestation of your unique. Vision. That's number 25. I mean, damn. I, I wonder, like, what's uh, the top three, right? You can fly in this game, goddamn. And I got a bunch of other topics that I want to talk about during this. I consider this like a podcast style as well of uh, new games with gaming news where we talk, uh, where we have discussion, where we bond, you and me, you know what I'm saying? Let me send you some quiches as well. Uh, bruh. Yeah. Okay, so number 24, we got Dune Awakening. This one is to be confirmed, to be announced for 2025. PC, PS5, and Xbox. Tell me, tell me what is that one game that you're currently playing right now? In the ancient halls of the testing stations. Dune was a movie, right? If I'm not mistaken. You seek the secrets of the ever-shifting <laughs> sands. <laughs> Yo, we got a bunch of rabbits out here. Oh god damn bro! So it's kinda like the mosquito, yeah gravity, yeah F the gravity mate, it don't matter. Okay, not bad. What we thinking guys? What we thinking? This is where we have those big boy dis big boy discussion, right? Like did you catch the erectile dysfunction or you think it's a banger? Man, this kinda triggered PTSD in me because I, I thought for a second this was just Batman standing there. And the recent Suicide Squad game, right? At our number 23, we got Grey's One Warfare, guys. This one is coming on PC. I think it's a missed opportunity for them to not have this sucker on, on uh, PS5 and Xbox, right? It's PC only. And it, it looks amazing, though. And I know a lot of people are into, like, open-world surviving, uh, survival-type extraction shooter games. And it, it, is, it is an extraction shooter. All I'm saying is that if it's on console as well, and they make it so, like, this is a one giant map, right? And they cut sections from it, like, tick, 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 tick. And you can play team, team that's match on it. I think it would be a banger. Like, honest to God, though. Like if you agree. Uh, yeah, let me know if you agree or disagree. Like if you agree, though. And, and yeah, recently we had Suicide Squad game. A lot of people are dropping deuces on that. People are going in gang gang, review bombing the crap out of it. Uh, how many of you actually bought Suicide Squad? One if you did. Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this one is called War of the Worlds, and this one is PC only. Yo, oh she, oh, oh she, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. damn, yee. How many of you guys seen that movie? I think it's based off the movie, right? Uh, Tom Cruise movie. Being developed by Flip Switch Games, immersing players in the heart of hu of a humanity ending. Damn, catastrophe or catastrophe. The game has. Do you call it catastrophe or catastrophe? Because uh, I, I do speak French as well. Uh, catastrophe. Uh, C'est comme ça tu dis ça en français. That's how you say in French, right? So, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know. A strategy to... Probably catastrophe. Catastrophic would be with H-I-C at the end, I guess, right? I mean, bruh. Yeah. English, mother truckers. <laughs> okay, not bad. Not bad. But if you did buy Suicide Squad game, man, what are you thinking about that game? Because IGN, everybody, all the big outlets, Every YouTuber on planet Earth, every, by the looks of it, it's every, uh, obviously it's not every, but most, a majority of the gamers are, are calling it out, and a lot of people are calling them, the, the people that are enjoying the game are saying those are toxic gamers, so it's like, nowadays you cannot dislike a game, I, I guess you get cancelled, right? You cannot share your opinion, you cannot be objective, you cannot be subjective. Subjective, forget about it, right? That that thing don't even exist. But nowadays you can also not be objective, which is kind of wild. I mean, damn, whatever happened to you uh, saying that, okay, this game don't look good, therefore I'm not gonna buy it. You say that and Sucker's saying that you're hating it. Sucker's saying that you're all of a sudden you're like the worst person alive. You know what I mean? 
In my honest opinion, in my humble opinion, it's perfectly fine to dislike a game, guys. Bruh. I know. Uh, yeah, crazy go, 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 opinion go, go, go. out there. I should be canceled for that, right? But it's perfectly fine. Not everybody's gonna like the game you like, and not everybody's gonna like the game I like. You know, it's uh, uh, we have that spice, right? Sometimes I, I like this game. Uh, for example, right? Like, uh, let me let me actually bring this up, okay, real quick. I think this is gonna make a whole lot of sense, okay? Sometimes Sega's love Big Bornas, okay? Bruh. Other times Sega's don't like Big Bornas. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. Here we go. Problem solved right there, okay? Well, hopefully, problem solved. Some like the bigger, some like the smaller, okay? It's just the taste, man. It's just the taste, so... So, by the looks of it, brother is just watching, like, the, the robot just go in and all out. Like, what? Oh, damn, it snows too, though. Oh, she! Oh, oh shit. she! <laughs> but honestly, not bad. I like the idea, but I feel like that this game is lacking depth. Maybe it's being made by an indie dev or something. No, Like, shout out to the indie devs, but... but we need that on that. We need some storyline. So this one is called Nightingale. Nightingale? Maybe that's how you say. February 22nd, 2024 on PC only. No! Oh! What are we thinking, man? What are we thinking? And if you're watching this in 2025, I got this one question, okay? I just got this one question. Did GTA 6 came out? Did it come out? It kind of gives me... What? Yo, did my boy just glitch out? Oh, come on, man. Like, don't show me the glitches in the alpha footage like that, bro. But yeah, let me know if, if, we, if we ended up getting GTA 6, because, bro, I have a feeling that that game will get delayed to 2026. We should be getting PS5 Pro too this year, right? Yeah, PS5 Pro as well. That's what we're hearing at, at the very least. The rumors are coming from Tom Henderson, and the guy is very credible. Resources, and you can find enemies in this game. Yo, definitely. It gives me massive Hogwarts Legacy vibes in a good way. Although I'm not very big on customizing characters, I, I just like to give my guy like a big schlong if it has that feature and just call it a Bruh. day. That, that's it, bro. Give my guy a bigger schlong or if it's a female character, give her like, okay, medium size, not like super big. Like, come on, guys. Like, Bruh. not not every character or not. Like, come on, man. Like, F the, the, the BBL scrap, bro. Like, the BBL has ruined the Western society. Like, the lip injections, the BBL. Nah, bruh. I'll ju I just like normal good looking chick, bro. Like with a good personality. That's it, bro. Simple, man. Like the video if you agree, man. Like whatever I have. Like every the chick on. Every chick is getting brainwashed into thinking they need like a bigger bunda, BBL, lips, injection, crap like that. Nah, bro, you don't need that. You just gotta. Just gotta be. Just. Like, just gotta be you. That's it. That's it. Like the video if you agree. Sequestered. Struck by woe and life. Okay, so it's night. Okay, this one is called Crimson. Oh, sh oh my oh, god! Shit. Oh, she! Oh, she! Yo, the last time when I saw that, it looked good. You got baby goats as well. And it's coming on Q2 in Q2, okay? On Xbox One, Xbox uh, Series X, uh, Xbox, uh, all the Xbox, the Sony ponies, the PlayStation, the PlayStation. Crimson Desert is an upcoming action adventure game. The game offers an intriguing blend of gameplay experiences combining. A narrative driven okay okay all right not bad not bad not bad love it single player campaign centered around the mercenary Macduff with a dynamic multiplayer uh, honestly it does look very good it does look very good so so far one of those games that look amazing uh, to me to me talks WL banger snoozer or you caught the erectile dysfunction so this year we should be having Call of Duty 2024. Bruh. I, I know, like, new Call of Duty games promise every year. 2025, I guess it's a 50-50 chance of GTA 6, because Rockstar always delay it. Uh, 2025 is looking a solid year, because uh, we're also going to be having this game. The next Battlefield game is already confirmed. Bruh. Uh, but not for next year, and also not for this year, which, which is making a lot of people believe that's going to happen next year. Because recently... He had done their investor call, and during their investor call, they did say that they're working on it, and it's apparently gonna be one of the the, the, the best uh, Battlefield game, which is Bruh. I gotta call it bold squash on that. <laughs> Although I'm a fan of the series, so I truly hope it turns out to be good. Uh, and, and they say it's gonna have dynamic destruction. Like they they chose like bunch of different like high like uh, uh, tier words to describe the bold squash that it's gonna have. Industry defining destruction, they said. And I'm looking at this gameplay, Brett. Like, this game also got crazy destruction. 
I hope they can battle it. Because I remember, at the time when Battlefield Bad Company 2 came out, we didn't have destruction in many games. In fact, I cannot even think of a single game that had destruction. This one is called Dragon Age Dreadwolf Q3 2024. No ancient prophecy. Oh the my kind god! Of person they'll never see coming. We've got your back. I've got your back. Uh -huh. Demons, dragons, dark spawn. I think Asmund Gold will like it. Red Wolf. No! <laughs> Your mega guy, yeah, Bobby Kotick type ears right there. Bro. Awful mage <laughs> obsessed with dreams. But long ago, he had a different name. Ven Harrell, the Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. Oh, huh? oh, In his final fight with the elven gods, Solus imprisoned them and created a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. Eh. Thoughts? But now, Thoughts? WL Banger? What we thinking? And yeah, I was talking about the destruction thing, right? Like, around that time we had no, no, no destruction at all. And this one is called Rise of the Ronin. And, and Battlefield was the only game to have crazy amount of destruction and to see them get away with uh, their own identity that that was kind of wild to me that was kind of sad and it's like they it's like brain suicide right B brain self deletion they did with battlefield 2042 although right now a lot of people are liking it but it's just that people that don't like it they just don't care about it they think it's not even there so they they completely killed their fan base they they killed half of their fan base i would say but it does not mean that the fan base is not gonna return i know like a lot of people say i'm not gonna pre order i'm not gonna buy it. i'm not uh, i'm gonna i'm never gonna touch the next battlefield game and not pre-ordering that's good i think you should never pre-order games at all at all unless Unless you are looking to get like a collector's edition, in that aspect, I would say understandable because you know if you don't buy the collector edition, then it's gonna run out and people are gonna scalp it and put it for like like crazy amount of price. And another thing here is that if you perhaps like able to get a collector edition and somehow you don't like the game, well, you're gonna have the physical game. Let's hope you're gonna get the physical game because nowadays you can still get codes in the bruh. in the collector edition and you have to digitally download, which is like bruh. You know what I mean? But if you have the physical copy, you can always sell the collector edition for almost the same price, if not like even higher, because there's suckers out there that would pay, you know? Uh, and this one is called Skull and Bones February 16th. What? What the hell? It's also coming on Luna Stadia? What the hell is Luna though? If it's coming out on Luna, then why not put it on... Okay, I think the background audio is copyrighted. That's why they, they removed it. Okay, makes sense. Because Ubisoft copyrighted. Okay, I, I, I see you. I see you. He used the YouTube editor to remove the background sound. Yeah, this game was cancelled. Billion. Or not cancelled, but delayed, delayed, delayed. And now it's finally coming out, though. The King's Part. Don't mean the King Part. Okay, so we got co uh, colonial, uh, colonial Empires, Trading Giants, and Savage Pirate Crews collide. So this is basically going to be like the... Uh, what's this called? Yo, what's that? What's the second name? I forgot the second name, though. Pirates of the Caribbean, though. Bruh. Yeah. This one is called Greedfall 2. Activision would be like, I would like to have a dialogue with you. Coming out on PC, PS4. Okay, all the consoles. This year. It's an upcoming action RPG game. Yo, that one looking strong. This is why uh, I have up the volume, you know? Because if the game looks solid, then we, we take a look at it. If it doesn't look solid, you still take a look at it, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? This time you assume the role of a tier, tier Freddy native? Okay. What are we thinking? Banger, snoozer, mid, or you caught the erectile dysfunction? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of bad, actually, but... Bruh. I mean, it was all right, but like... Okay, so next one is called Star Wars Outlaw. Oh, she, oh, she. I think this one is being made by UB Snooze, right? Ubisoft. So not on all the consoles, but the next gen, current gen, I should say. Uh, not next gen, current gen. Sony Pony 5. Yo, the craziest thing here is this, guys. 
The craziest thing here is that we're already like what three plus years into PS5 and Series X. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, right. Like holy crap, man. Time flies like crazy, and so far, what is your favorite game from the PS5 and Series X that is next gen? I I don't even know a single next gen game. Spider-Man 2, um, I, I loved it, I loved it. God of War Ragnarok, loved it, but I wouldn't call them next gen, next gen, right? They're they're not next gen games. They are they are amazing experiences. They're amazing games. Uh, Sp Spider-Man 2, the only thing that I didn't like was all that woke bullcrap they they put, but it's like whatever. Minus the woke bullcrap in uh, Spider-Man 2, I, I loved it. I loved it, right? Like good a good game, solid experience. Xbox, I would say. I don't even know a single game other than Starfield on Xbox. So like, uh, and not trying to be a Sony Pony or Xbox though. Like for PlayStation, I guess Horizon Zero Dawn, but it, yeah, I guess Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Horizon Zero Dawn, but not my cup of tea. That's why I was like, you know, but a lot of people loved it. So there's that. Starfield, a lot of people, I, I feel like gave it a chance. And a lot of people did get mad whenever you would like criticize it initially, right before the game came out. I remember like, People were defending that game with their life, okay? It was as though, like, so, you insulted their mother. If, if you talk, if you showed a little bit of hesitation about Starfield, like, forget about, like, calling it bad or anything. People got really, really mad. But right now, a lot of people are giving it, like, negative reviews because uh, the dust has settled and a lot of people played it. Not to say that everybody hated, a lot of people loved it too, and that's fine, right? Like, my point here is that, bro, like, it's... It's video games at the end of the day, right? You like it, you like it. You hate it, you hate it. Simple as that. Not everybody's gonna like the same thing as you, and that's completely fine, you know? That is completely fine. Oh, damn, that game look good. The Lost Wild is an upcoming action-adventure survival horror game that is being developed. So we got, like, Jurassic Park style, right? And there's a Jurassic Park game coming out, too. But what are your overall thoughts on uh, Starfield? right now because i'm seeing a lot of people just dog it down though and nobody's really talking about it. the only thing that's trending like every other week is that well you know it broke record of uh, more negative reviews Bruh. look at well look at the reviews like the reviews are becoming more negative that that's the only news i hear and i, I don't know about the player count I, I i feel like that that game dropped and just died and the same can be applied for God of War and Spider-Man. I know some Xbox would get mad, so this is why I'm bringing it up. And, and that's how it is for single-player games, right? But Starfield was gonna be more than a single-player game because uh, it, it, it has 1,000 planets, but now nobody really cares for the game. Which is just sad because... Uh, Gaming is in such a dry spot. I love single-player games, don't get me wrong, but let's agree to this, right? Let, because it's facts. I mean, it's not even subjective opinion. It's just that you're gonna play it once and then just call it a day and you're never really gonna touch it. You're probably gonna play it again uh, years later. There, there are very few people that would play over and over just to get, like, Platinum Trophy, and after that, even they're gonna abandon it, and that's it. These are single-player games. It's not a bad thing. That's how apparently it works. It's an experience. And, and if the game is amazing, you're gonna remember it for a lifetime, though. You know, there are a lot of really amazing single-player games, man. I have not played, but I'll bring it up because it's a fact. Red Dead Redemption 2, though. Red Dead Redemption 2? I have not played it. I want to because everybody got such good things to say about the game, right? It's like everybody across the board. And everybody always bring it up. The reason being... It's an amazing experience. And do people still play it? Not really. If they played the game once, that's it. They're gonna replay the game eventually, you know, whenever they feel like it. But that's like a year later, two years later, just kind of relive it. You know, 10 years later, they're gonna be like, man, that was what a game it was. Let me just uh, fire up the, the, the PS4 or the PS5 or Xbox or PC and just like, let me just replay it. You know, it's one of those things. And this game is called Where the Winds Meet. The next one is called XZ Killer. EXE Killer. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah! This one. This one. This one. This one. Yo, the last time we, we saw this game, uh, I had some opinions on it. And I said that I love the way it's looking like it's like cyberpunk. But it just feels bland. It just feels like unalive, uh, basically, right? Like not much happening. And the developer commented by saying we appreciate the feedback and uh, thank you so much for checking out the game. And if somehow you stumble upon this video once again, 
appreciate you, man. What are the odds that the same person that commented on the last video when I was watching this is gonna see this and comment again and uh, see this? What are the odds, man? I'm just throwing it out there, man. If you happen to see it, listen, man. From an, one human to a you, I, I hope this game bangs. I hope you succeed. Like I don't ever want to see like a like a publisher or a company just fail. Sometimes it's fun to meme and dog on. Not denying that I do that all the time, right? Like not trying to be like a like a saint out there. If a, if a game is a banger, bro, we're gonna appreciate it. We're gonna love it. But if the game is uh, bad, I guess uh, we're we're gonna dog on it, right? I'm not necessarily trying to dog on it. I I usually keep it lighthearted jokes and whatnot. But but you know what I mean, right? I'm just being honest here like the game i said it before and i'll say it again it has very good uh idea like look at that man cyberpunk style uh game and not saying that in a bad way i'm saying that in a good way right like cause cyberpunk I, I like the game it is it's just that cyberpunk had me so ridiculously high but then it got me disappointed when it first came out and even to this day it still hasn't recovered uh fully yet but it's way better than launch and it's intriguing. This game is intriguing, but we need more stuff here. Uh, we need basically like more life uh, put into the game. Otherwise, uh, I think it's uh, it has a shot, man. It has a shot. It's definitely gonna be a niche game that people are gonna love it. So if you happen to see it, I, I, I wish you the best, man. Uh, test drive unlimited solar solar crow. Okay, this one is coming out Q1. So either this month or next month, right? And if you're watching in 2026, bruh, or in 2050, bruh, probably nobody's gonna watch it in 2050, but somehow, yeah, I'm just throwing it out there, man, because you never know, man, you never know. Maybe there's, like, somebody watching in 2050, and they were like, bruh, you guys had some of the best games, and you guys can play Look at Us Now, we get crap games filled with microtransactions. Bro, imagine this, right? Like, holy crap, what are the odds? Because, you know, uh, okay, what game is this one? In oh, same one. Man, what are the odds, right? Because nowadays we all crap on, like, the new games because of microtransactions and unfinished games, and understandably and justifyingly so, but, but what are the odds, right? Because if you go back 10 years, right, we loved a lot of those games, and then nowadays we just dog on the new games. What if, you know, 10 years from now we dog on those games, and we look back and we're like, we didn't even had that many bad games bro why did we hate them because we're progressively getting worse okay it's progressively getting worse and that's not what i want to see now sure graphically speaking the gameplay smoothness there's a lot of positive things about video games nowadays in comparison to the last 10 years right graphics have overall improved right stories have uh, some some not all stories have gotten richer Sweet. Adapt and improve your style to impress others. Stand out from the crowd. But not all. Maximize your potential and represent your future. Let Hong Kong Island feel your dreams. Earn okay. the respect okay. of races and realize your potential to take the ultimate prize of the God damn, bro. You see it. What? We got GTA. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Okay, he changed the, 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 yeah, probably because of copyright, but nah, bro, like, GTA 6 background music isn't copyrighted, to be honest. Yeah, it, it, it isn't. Initially, it was because it got leaked and, uh, they were, uh, they had, like, third-party block. I'm not gonna, it's, it's gonna bore you, uh, it's, like, some YouTube stuff, right? Uh, but initially, yeah, suckers were getting blocked, uh, but, but then they lifted. Why should he and beyond in the big man hands down man and also hand on top of this bottle of water Did I really say hands down and then I put my hands up? I mean bruh for you right there, but like <laughs> Man This game should change the name to get theft auto <laughs> Man this game is going it's gonna be everybody's for the most part every not everybody but for the most part a lot of people's uh, Most anticipated game The only way We're gonna get through this I think it got uh, copyrighted, therefore I think he used the YouTube editor to change it up. Probably. And this one is definitely Stalker 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yay, Stalker 2. The Heart of Chernobyl. September finally coming out, guys. I remember it was supposed to come out a long time ago, but because of the conflict in Ukraine, I believe, with Russia, uh, it, yeah, they delayed it. Under understandably. Understandably, like, the devs couldn't work. I mean, damn, like... Like, they have to save their lives, understandably, man, understandably. Developed by GSC, Game World, 
And I'm not sure what's happening uh, in Ukraine. I feel like things have calmed down, maybe, perhaps not. You asked me about my good luck charm. But things have not Remember? calmed down in Palestine, though. Unfortunately. Decided to play soldier with me. Dimitri Home to fierce mutants, lethal. We found in the zone. But we can't quite seem to get all the pieces to fit. Maybe Damn. you can figure it out. Damn. Yo, I got hiccups, man. It reminded me that we used to be puppets. Yo, every time I'm recording videos, I man, I get hiccups, bro. Like, it's been happening for the last three days. Right before I recorded this video, I was working on like something else, uh, another video, and I got hiccups right before that. And and it took me like ten minutes to get rid of them. And right now I got it again. That was the day the sea fields returned. Yo, I got the mass and black. I one kind of white, bro. The voice of Monolith was gone. I felt as if I was awakening from a years-long coma. And through the scope, I saw the body of an unknown soldier fall. Right now, I can see this game be uh, a good one for Xbox because uh, Starfield. I mean, listen, man. I don't. I'm not trying to dog on it, but Starfield is considered to be one of the massive Xbox title, right? It was. It's massive. And it, it couldn't, it could not hold up to, uh, it could, it, it just couldn't, it just could not. Right now, I think Stalker 2 will uh, hopefully be one of the best uh, Xbox game. I don't think it's going to be the biggest. Uh, it doesn't have the same level of hype as Starfield, but a lot of people are looking forward to it and it does look good. But one thing that I'm afraid of is that because of the entire Russia and Ukraine conflict, right? I hope, I hope they have not, uh, they're not rushing this game out. Uh, I, part of part of me feels like that they are, and understandably because they gotta meet the the quotas and whatnot. Because they they probably have delayed for a while, and they have to put that baby out there. Because the longer they wait, the more money they're gonna burn, right? And I'm and I'm I'm assuming that they're not in a good position because of the conflict and other stuff, right? Or maybe they are. I mean, after all, we're talking. Microsoft is backing them up, right? So they shouldn't even have to worry about it. But again, though, it's Microsoft. Like these, they recently fired 1,900 devs from Call of Duty and Activision Blizzard and some of them were from Beth from uh, were from Bethesda as well uh, but they but most of the the devs fired were from Call of Duty which is come crazy which is just crazy right because Phil Spencer did say that like once we acquire Activision <laughs> it's uh, we're going to we're going to make it so your job is uh, much more like we're going to have you in a good position that's what Phil Spencer promised that to, to the devs, and he fired those devs. Bumbaka! <laughs> he fired the devs as soon as he. Uh... Some people are saying he's uh, trimming the fat, and I hope that's the case. I hope they have not fired the good uh, devs, but some, some, uh, some devs are that that came forward. We found out that they were actually good for the job, so they fired some devs that were good for the job. I guess time will tell us for sure whether it's gonna be a negative or a positive. I guess right now it's so early to say. And Call of Duty 2024, if that turns out to be good or bad, you cannot credit, give credit to Xbox or you cannot blame them if it turns out to be bad. Call of Duty 2025, in my honest opinion, would be the real test, right? And this one is called Once Human. I think she got cakes as well. Yeah, damn! Not bad, not bad. So it's like alien, alien game, right? Third person alien game. Wait, well, I don't know, man. And because of, I'm seeing this, I get reminded of the origami. We have always known. This one is called Avowed. Yay! I think this one is gonna be good. It's uh, an Xbox exclusive, right? Okay, so Avowed, and there's another horror game I'm forgetting right now. That game is also looking good. So Avowed. Uh, this game and the horror game, I'm, I'm forgetting the name, and, and, uh, and, 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 and there's a one more, one more, one more. Stalker 2, yeah, Stalker 2, like, we just saw that. It was not coming up on my mind, man. So these games are uh, coming to Xbox. For PlayStation, what are we getting? Wolverine got leaked, it, yeah, it's demo also got leaked out, right? Playable demo. Uh, but we heard from the league that it's coming out probably 2025, 2026. Some people are saying 2026. Some are saying 2025. I hope for 2025. I believe 2025 is like another Venom DLC for Spider-Man. They're gonna turn it into a full game, I believe, like Miles Morales. That's it. The next God of War game is in development too. 
Uh, but that's probably not gonna happen. The Last of Us 3 got confirmed recently. Yeah, yeah Deadass by uh, Neil Druckmann. But it's not their next game. So forget about it. It's probably gonna come out like PlayStation 6 or by the end of PlayStation 5 lifecycle. Uh, or maybe not even then, because by the looks of it, they're gonna have another... Uh, uh, Naughty Dog is gonna have a game, perhaps Uncharted 5. I hope for a new Uncharted game, personally. I know not everybody w wants to see Uncharted reboot, but I'm one of those guys that would love to. And even if I want it or not, it's just happening. And this game is called Arc 2, and it's... So far, we haven't seen any more reveal. And, <laughs> and it's like Vin Diesel with the Fast and Furious for the family. They butcher the Fast and Furious movie franchise, bro. Like... I remember the... I love Fast and Furious, to be honest. But the... But the, they butchered the game, man. That's trending true. Yes, sir. They reveal new gameplay for it as well. New... Tr not necessarily new gameplay, but new... Uh, uh, so, yeah. That's going to be one of those uh, PlayStation exclusives. Okay. Other than that, what are we getting in terms of Xbox and PlayStation exclusives? The one that we just talked about, right? Like... So, that's trending true. Yeah. So, let love... Kojima production and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. Silent Hill, but I think... Is Silent Hill an ex uh, PlayStation exclusive? I could be wrong. Uh, I don't think it is, but... Is it? Okay, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it is, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, man. I I'm just thinking about it. Like, what exclusives and what games we're getting that are big and also... I mean, don't have to be, like, uh, humongous. Like, GTA 6. Not every game gotta be GTA 6. And not everybody... Every game can be. And not everybody can make GTA 6. And that's perfectly fine, though. Uh, but what I'm saying is that we need more alternatives to games like GTA 6, Call of Duty, and we need more story games. And I was talking about the or origami, right? And that reminded me of Heavy Rain. If you played Heavy Rain, you know that game was a banger, bro. That game, hands down. And it's a, and, and it's, it goes back to the discussion we were having earlier in the video, right? Single player games. You're gonna play once and forget about it. And you're never gonna touch it. But if the experience is good, you're, it's gonna be memorable and it's gonna come up. And see, Heavy, Heavy Rain is a decade old game. I'm probably not gonna ever replay it. If I feel like uh, playing it, I'll, yeah, because it's on PS3, right? So I don't uh, want to, like, connect my PS3. And it, it's, like, a lot of uh, trouble. Especially if you have Elgato. It, it's to do with, like, the HDCP. Like, it, it's crazy. Those of you that understand what I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying. Those of you that don't, all I'm going to say is that it's very, very hard to connect your PS3 to uh, playing the game. Uh, because of the entire HDCP bull, sh uh, bull squash. If you have your gameplay recording device attached, and I have that because I make videos. If I didn't, it's you know what I mean. And if I ever feel like playing, I will just watch the entire uh, cutscene as a movie on YouTube. It is called Black Myth Wukong. Yeah, that one as well, right? And, and yeah, Heavy Rain, amazing experience. And the same dev team made. Because goodness without teeth. The same dev team made that Detroit Become Human game as well. Not actual gameplay, yo. Is that is that is that Wolverine? Yeah, it's the Wolverine. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh. They uh, man, I don't know, man. To be announced 2024. Maybe they're gonna announce it, but it's certainly not coming out. I, I feel like that they're gonna show us new gameplay in the next PlayStation uh, uh, showcase. And right now, as I'm recording this video, just earlier today, on February 3rd, 2024, earlier today there were rumors that we're gonna be having a PlayStation showcase in May. That's gonna be E3 like. I mean, we'll see if it happens. E it's gonna happen this year. I guess that's a guarantee, but is it really gonna happen in May? I guess uh, let's find out. Usually they do in September, but I hope for May, to be honest. The early the better, May, because right now the gaming industry is dry as hell. This game is called Dragon's Dogma 2. From this moment forth, thou art risen. Here's my chance. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. Bruh. What is your purpose here? What are we thinking? When was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word. Off your ass! And you ain't paid your nugs yet? This one is called Gothic One Remake. 
could be announced 2024 or later. So it's gonna come out like next gen, uh, current gen, I should say. Not even, why am I even saying next gen, bro? Like it's not, it's been three years, damn it. It's been three years, damn it. Holy crap. Holy crap. I, I feel like that games are definitely gonna start to feel uh, like the real current gen PS5 and Xbox. Probably in 2025. And truly, I think you are you know where I'm, where I'm going with this one, right? GTA 6. I think GTA 6 is gonna be the biggest uh, feeling, next gen feeling game. And the wildest part here is that some people say that GTA 6 doesn't even look that good. Uh, in comparison to GTA 5. That's the crazy part. You probably saw those comments too, right? But when you uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison with GTA 5 and GTA 6, it's like a night and day difference. And the craziest thing is that we're talking Rockstar games and they have a very good track record of what they show in trailers is like the actual gameplay. With other companies, it's CGI. But with Rockstar, it's the actual gameplay. And if you have seen the first 2011 GTA 5 trailer and you compare that with 2013 GTA 5 trailer, night and day difference. Night and day difference. They improve uh, stuff. Uh, and you see improvements actually. But ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Click on this video on the screen. We had 40 plus minutes of new gameplay reveals in this one as well. And that's like, consider this another podcast as well. Check this out and I will see you right there. Don't sleep on it, man. Don't sleep on it.